is a reason why I will probably not be buying this again. There's two key reasons. Welcome back. Here are five things I want you to know before you buy the Kosa Stream Beam. SPF 40, 40 bucks, has a PA plus, 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 plus. That's four pluses. I'm gonna give you an honest review. Nobody's paying me to say this. I purchased this product. You will always get quick, comprehensive, brutally honest reviews over here. If you like that kind of thing, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. First thing I wanna talk about here are ingredients. Silicone free, supposedly water resistant, claims to be safe for sensitive skin, everybody's different. Hypoallergenic, everybody's different. I'll tell you why in a second, that might not work for you. It didn't work for me, spoiler. And non-acnegenic, there's 21.7% zinc. The PA++++, that is speaking to UVA. I am not an expert in the field of SPF and mineral sunscreens and all the rest of it. It does contain coconut derivatives. Double check with the brand on that because cocoa caprolate could be pulled from coconuts or not. It just depends, but nine times out of 10, I have found through brands that it is. There's lactic acid and sodium hyaluronate. My God, everything has sodium hyaluronate now. I'm not against it, it's just a lot on the skin. Everything was transparent. That's what I look for above all. So moving into the second thing I wanna talk about, application. So this is more of a liquidy product. It's supposed to be makeup prep, lightweight, glide on easily. It does glide on very easily. There's some viscosity to it, so it's not like straight up dripping off your face, of course. You can cover a lot of surface area with a little, but because you're using it as sunscreen, you're not going to want to skimp. It's gonna affect your finish. And this stuff is glowy. It is one shade. It played well with the other products that I applied on top, like a foundation or a tinted moisturizer. It did its thing. Four out of five on application for the scorecard. Next up, scent. Oh, you know what? I digress. You usually see with sunscreen, you can see some white cast or something like that. Nothing here. Nothing along those lines. Now we're on to scent. It's not at all overwhelming. I don't rate this on whether or not I like the scent. I just rate it on a scale of is it overwhelming or is it not? It's barely there and it's barely a sunscreen scent. That's a bonus. Five out of five. The finish. If you're wearing the amount that you need to be wearing to get the sun protection that you want to get, the long sounds. You're going to see a full-blown dewy look. Very dewy. You can press powder in on top. I've done that before. I happen to love doing things like that, but it's going to be glowy dewy like I already mentioned. So if you are not interested in that, I would look elsewhere. I am trying to find more sunscreens out there that don't provide tons of glowy dewiness. I love a dewy look. Um, sometimes I wanna have the option to not look like, everybody <laughs> says it's like, you look like a wet seal. I like that too. I would like to not look like that sometimes. I will keep you posted on what I find, but if you don't like doing, you're not gonna like this. It's not oily or greasy though, and they don't claim that it's gonna be matte, so it's stuck with their claims really nicely, and that's why I gave it a four out of five. The wear test and the sun test, I wore this outside in midday sun a couple times in a row. I did not see any pinky looks or sunburns or anything like that on my skin. I wore a lot of it. They don't claim for this to have a long wear test. It is a sunscreen, you do wanna reapply. It received a four out of five on the scorecard there. Gets me to a total score of 17 out of 20, which sounds like, hey, she really likes this. This is the top score for most of her products. Here's the reason why I will probably not be buying this again. There's two key reasons. This, for some reason, irritated my skin. I haven't figured out what it is, and just because it irritated my skin does not mean it's going to irritate yours. I found, after a couple of days of using it, that I would see small little breakouts, nothing major, but the skin was angry. It was mad, it was inflamed, it was angry. Red dots, that kind of a thing would show up. Second reason, I'm trying to go plastic free. I'm still trying to figure out what the best option is, but at least make it really clear. It's almost like I'm going back to how it was with ingredients. Just be really transparent about how the consumer needs to recycle this, if that's the case or whatever, the end of life they call it, however we need to do it. Like make me not have to think or work too hard for it. That should be the burden on the brand that's creating this, I believe, and the manufacturer they're working with. Off the soapbox, it's just a lot of plastic. I mean, it's 30% PCR, which means they're using recycled plastic. I very much so appreciate that. There is no sign on here that tells me, is it a one, is it a two plastic? Do I take the cap off? Even if you go onto the website, I was having trouble finding it. Correct me if I'm mistaken, prove me wrong, and say that it is very clear right in front of your face, Brittany, and you're just not seeing it because you weren't looking closely enough. I'm here for that. But those are the two reasons why I wouldn't buy it again. Also, it is real dewy. Although I wasn't mad at that for summer, but if you put enough on to get the coverage, it's just, 
I don't know, you gotta be into that thing. Oily skin types might find it to be too dewy. Dry skin types who want a dewy look really might love it. I've tried a lot of tinted sunscreens in my day. If you wanna check those out, there's a playlist coming up. You can watch or you can beeline it to my absolute current favorites. I have my top 10, sometimes top 20. Back on Brit's picks, it's the one pager. These are the ones I would buy again and again and again. Nobody can pay to be on that list. I will be right back here real soon. Bye.